world, PDR coming at you here with a Infinity QX60. It's a 2016, and um, if you see what we're looking at here, it has a little bit of front quarter, I'm gonna say damage. I'm not gonna say it's a dent. I'm gonna say uh, there's still a little bit of scuff right here that I didn't buff off, and let me reach up real quick and grab the glasses so I look cool, obviously. And um, I just buffed off a big scuff right here. You can even see that on the, the bumper portion itself, if you guys can actually see right here where the scuff is, it, it even has a little ripple in the plastic. Nothing we can do about that. The dent starts right here, obviously, and it goes up and around. And if you want to back up a little, I'll show you uh, all the way back to here. So even, even as far as right here, it's the last part, I see that dent. So it starts right, well, it ends right here, and it goes all the way up through here. And uh, I'd say this body line isn't super crushed. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna give it a little, little pushes down here. I'm gonna tap this brow down and take these two lows out, take this one out. It's slight, but it's large. So um, I wanted to intro this video out. We got the meditation music going on. It's fairly cold out. I think what I am gonna do is get my heat gun set up, get the Get A Grip products on it. It's a beautiful sunny day. You guys can see we have a great view here. Um, and I'll probably end up putting the uh, umbrella up too. So heat gun, umbrella, I'll get set up here and I'm gonna send Wifey to go get us some coffees. And I think uh, when we come back, I'll show you what we're doing here. I'm gonna start doing some tapping. There are a couple other dents to do on this car, so I wanna keep you guys in for this one as much as possible. So um, even if I start working while Wifey's getting coffee, I'm gonna do some other stuff on this car. But like I said, when we come back, we'll have this little tiny scuff buffed out. I'll almost get it with my finger right now. Um, and then the product's on the car, and this thing taken apart, it looks like just little popper clips, nice and easy. Just gonna get right in it. I was gonna say, here's a couple of the tools I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using them squishy, R32, uh, machine jacks, jackhammer, hammy tappy, and most likely number one to get up in there and just do the little bits of dial work. Uh, but for the most part, this tool right here. So uh, I will come back to you guys in just a bit and show you our setup and get started with this dent in just a bit. Oh, okay guys, we're back. Um, <laughs> so here's what I did. I uh, obviously got the heat gun on there. I'm warming it up. I don't have my little temperature gauge, but I'll just uh, tell you, trust me, it's about 90 right now. Um, gained some access, took this little plastic piece down a little bit. I can even pull it out a little bit more. Kind of dirty, but yeah. And we see that right here behind this edge is our first point of contention. This is right where I want to be to get this little edge up. And I, I know that with my squishy, I can't really get into the edge, but I'm just kind of, uh, I'm trying to talk loud enough for you guys. I know that we got the different microphone on today, but uh, if you see what I'm trying to do there, I was just babying that little edge out. I'm gonna have to come back in with this little guy and get right on down like this. I'll, I'll come in and make the pushes like that. Uh, probably nearing the end of the process when I've got the rest of this straightened out. But if we look at what we're looking at here, you see it starts right up here. There's a little tiny crease. It goes up. There's a big wower. And then there's kind of a tight line there. Tight line here. So I did take some 2000 grit sandpaper to my uh, Shane Jacks to clean it up last night. And guys, I will say this too. Um, I'm reaching up here and I'm feeling there's a big plate. I'll tell you where the plate goes. My fingers along this plate. So this plate is all the way there. And that plate's about that far away from the edge. Um, it's strange, it's thick metal, and it has some holes in it. So it looks like it's the stabilizer for this headlight. It feels like it, should I say. Um, I know I can slide a sneaky in underneath it, and some of these high things that you're seeing is just the pad of glue behind this uh, brace. So <clears throat> let me just try to, with, with number one, try to slide up in here really nice, get underneath that glue, and then pull out that little glue. I'm gonna show you what I just pulled out. That little pad of glue, which 
goes in between the two braces was making a little push mark um, out. So wherever this thing got damaged, it kind of made a brow line out. Uh, luckily it went into pads of blue like that, not straight metal to metal or else it'd be a definite line. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna break these brows down right where they're the most tight. Right there, right back here. So, <coughs> excuse me. But at this point in the video, I will say, I sure do appreciate y'all clicking on this video. I really do. Um, if you guys don't mind hitting that subscribe button, we sure appreciate it. it, it uh, we love to see the channel grow. We always love it when people share nice comments. And we're always looking down in the comment section to see what people are saying. So yeah, this one is, uh, I wouldn't say it's a super difficult dent. I'd probably say it's uh, about a seven or an eight difficulty because of the fact that it is crash damage. <coughs> and the customer is well aware that it's not gonna be 100%, but I think with the difference that we give them on, you know, a big dented browed fender, as opposed to what it's gonna look like when I'm, when I'm done with it. Now this is just my fingers, guys. I'm, I'm right here with my finger and I am pushing on it. Let me move the board up a little bit so I can see it too. But I was just pushing on it with my finger, just like this, like, like that. Just kind of seeing how much it wants to move. You know, obviously if I get my tool in there and I make a push, I'll show you, that's as far as I can go. That brace right there is as far as I can go. So that's the brace line. It goes all the way down, and then it goes all the way down to here. So everything underneath this whole area, I'm either gonna have to use my super skinny or this one. Let's turn off that. And so I think what we might do is get a little super speedy going for you guys. Um, let me make this first initial push just to kind of clean up the backside of this one. And here I'm just looking through the fog getting some of that one out real quick and that's as far as I can go with it so that's why we've got it nice and heated up guys because uh, it's gonna allow that metal to move without fracturing the paint without making any weird push marks just a little bit more malleable I probably say this metal is up to about a hundred now um, I've got it fairly far away and I've got it turned down so it's not at its hottest setting <clears throat> Excuse me, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start tooling away, do a little bit more tapping, a little bit more tooling, and I'll uh, hopefully I'll keep you guys in for some on Speedy, but we will come back and show you guys the end result in just a bit. guys we're back um, this is uh, what I promised the customer I know it's not hundred percent perfect we got a little bit of a wave here so if we analyze I got it all put back together um, pop that thing all back in it had uh, a really kind of weird lower dent down here and then it had two big shiners and another one back here and when I got those out like I said there's a brace behind it so um, I spent about an hour and a half tapping this brow and I know I'd probably have to spend about another hour and a half to tap it down to get it to a uh, little bit more flush. This is a lot of stretched metal here. Um, but yeah, oh, I still have to buff that little tiny scuff on the side here, which I will do. Actually, why not just do it right now? Show you a little product review and I've been using the 3M. I did a lot of brow tapping. Um, and with my, with my Shane Jacks, doing a lot of this. A little bit harder, but I was just showing you because I didn't want to have to go back and rebuff it. But um, I'll buff off this little 
scuff. I mean, this thing started here and went all the way back to here. So it was a large and in charge area of work. Um, yeah, and that stuff just gets right off. Little tiny guy right here. That might actually be a scratch. Let's see. Nope, it came off. Okay, so yeah, we got it. We got it uh, to the point that I wanted to stop because of the deal I'm giving the customer, the amount of uh, time versus money, what we're doing. I told him that obviously to to do this fender to as good as I possibly can do it, which means get this all all the way out, brother. So it looks perfect. Well, that costs serious high price retail. And what I'm doing for this customer is a good return friend, a uh, customer of mine, I'm going to give him uh, a good deal on this. Uh, don't really want to talk prices, but I basically am going to do it for about half of the price that I would normally charge uh, so that he can get his car back in and get a new one out. This is 16, he's going to go buy another 19. Uh, it's a lease return or whatever. So just going to clean it up so it doesn't look like it was really damaged. Um, but I think we did what we said we were gonna do and uh, hopefully the customer's gonna come out and be super happy. And obviously if he says, hey, can you get that brow down a little bit more? I'll say, sure, dig into your wallet a little bit more and we'll spend more time on it. But um, that's kind of what it comes down to is time versus money, quality versus uh, you know the time that you're spending in the field. Obviously we have a beautiful view and a nice place to work today and it's not super cold. It's kind of chilly, um, but uh, I think it came out nice. I actually did make one glue pole right here. Didn't really move it and I just said, ah, I got, got behind most of this dent with uh, this one and with my number one. And like I said, there's a plate that goes all the way across this whole dent. So just for me to get in here and work was extremely tight. Uh, it was through a little hole in that brace and then I squished my tool up and I only had like a quarter inch to move around. So. Um, just the fact that I got it out without any kind of push marks is is kind of kind of a good thing. Um, much less pronounced, but definitely still there. So um, I know it, it. I can just sense the comments, but I'm going to tell you guys this is exactly what I promised the customer, and I'm sure he's going to be super happy with it. Um, so. You know, throw, throw a like on the video if you like it. Um, I know we didn't show you a lot of the actual work part. It was a lot of high speed and, um, you know, whatever back and forth. But uh, throw us a like and uh, hit that notifications bell so that you get to see the next time we post another video. We usually post a video every couple of days. And uh, other than that, hey, I'll just say the thing. This has been PDR and I'm out. Peace.